This is going to be our last video on, on tool paths. First thing I want to do, I'm going to um, drill four holes in here. And the best way to do that would be to hit this little blue cross under create point position. And I'm going to put one a half inch away from the x axis and halfway up in our y axis. So that's going to be x is going to be 0.5. And we tab over to be 2.0 in our y-axis tab two times it puts a little blue dot there let's put one at the 12 o'clock position so we know that's going to be 2.0 in our x tab over and a half inch away from four is going to be 3.5 tab tab let's put one at three o'clock position that's going to be 3.5 in our X and 2.0 on our Y and the last one will be at our 6 o'clock position which would be 2.0 in our X and 0.5 in our Y and green check. Now if we go to tool paths and pick drill and we'll name this operation drill Now all I have to do is pick the points and Mastercam is going to drill the holes where I pick them. So if I pick this 12 o'clock position first, that's going to be the first hole it's going to drill. Well to save time, coming from my bottom left corner, the most uh, economical or the fastest way that it's going to drill it would be either to my 9 o'clock position or my 6 o'clock position. So I'm going to grab this 9 o'clock, then the 12 then the three, and then lastly the six, and hit the green OK button. Now, notice that drill is already highlighted, so we know we're in that category. So we pick tool, select library tool. Now I need to decide what type of tool I'm going to be using, and I'm going to drill it all the way through with a 5 16 drill, or um, .3125. So if we scroll down until we find that, here's 516, so number 117. If I double click that, I'm going to double click that again because I know that the drill that I have in the CNC machine is drill number three. So I'm going to type that in, green check. Now my feed rate, I'm going to change that to 20 inches a minute. And I'm going to increase my RPMs to 1,000. And actually we can go a little faster than that. My surface feed per minute is 81, so let's go up to 1,200. Now we at 98 surface feet per minute. Under cut parameters, we have different types of drill. I prefer using the peck drill. What peck drill, whenever I highlight it, what peck drill does for us, it comes down on this one is set up at a hundred thousandths. It goes down a hundred thousandths. It goes back up. It comes back down to where it was at an additional hundred thousandths until we drill all the way through. Under our linking parameters, we know that our thickness of material is a half inch, so that's going to be negative 0.5. However, we have to consider the tip of that drill. So that's our next option under tip compensation. If I turn that on, it automatically will, it tells us that from the point to our full diameter is 93 thousandths of an inch. So it's going to take that plus it's going to give us uh, an additional 10 thousandths of an inch beyond that. So all we have to do now is blue apply and green check. Isometric view and simulate. Okay, it only looks like three holes drilled, right? Well, that drill's in our way, so if we hit right mouse, dynamic rotation, roll it around, look around the bottom side, and it shows it drilled all the way through. Now, all you have to do is hit G1 to generate the code for that. And there's our little bit of code. It's not, it's not a long program at all.
drill four holes. Well, that's it.